Shakespeare is very different to the way that modern teenagers, I guess, speak. Um, and me kind of growing up in the whole world of social media and all that sort of thing, um, I mean, yeah, Shakespeare is very, very different to what I'm used to. For me, it's all about the eyes and it's all about a direction behind the eyes. Um, once the language sinks into you, you can use the language almost like an energy force and you can use your own internal energy just to create a sense of focus and concentration. You're really challenged in terms of um, knowing what you're talking about and what, what you're saying and making sense of what you're saying. The witches, it's completely different because instead of iambic pentameter, they have a tetrameter, which is a four beat rhythm. So really they speak in chants the whole time. Macbeth doth come. Thrice, thrice to thine, thine and thrice, thrice to mine and thrice, thrice again to make up nine. nine. Peace! The charms wound up. The representations of darkness, their representations of evil, of malice, of chaos, of, of, of disorder. I really like how it is a modernised kind of contemporary version of Macbeth. It's set in a world which is in chaos at the beginning, where there's civil war, where there's, um, there are atrocities happening. You can see that there are parallels between the witches and actually some of the things that are happening in the world generally in terms of the extremes that people get pushed to. I think the witches certainly allow us to ask ourselves at what point in time are we ambassadors of goodness or at when in our lives or in the course of our actions and trajectory in our lives do we suddenly become enemies of goodness. So kind of the witches have planned out this whole life for Macbeth and basically all they need to do is get him to believe it and kind of play it out. All hail Macbeth, hail to thee, Thane of Cawdor. All hail Macbeth, that shalt be king hereafter.